And no combat this turn. But we have a new colony. One of the colony ships arrived. And dun 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 dun. Uh, 14 upgraded research labs, two new metropolises. Mm -hmm. In the central match, uh, T2 crew quarters is going to make future builds more efficient, I hope. From macrobiology 2. Macrobiology 3 gives us new metropolises. So I think we're going to uh, divert our uh, new reactors for a moment and uh, try to get these first. There we go. Also upgrades our shipyards a little bit more. Maybe they'll be uh, worth upgrading then. And more larger and small crew quarters for future designs. Very good. The rest goes on power. How much do these crew quarters actually upgrade? Normally these have a hundred crew, these still have a hundred crew. They're just cheaper. They were 80 organics. These are 100 organics. Okay, they're just cheaper. I can actually live with that because I am short on organics. Who would have guessed uh, macrobiology actually saves me organics? Uh, that is perfect. That is exactly what we want. You. You are going to jump through this warp point. Uh, the war point from the side. And the lot of you is going to do the same. <sighs> but where do we want? We don't have any information at all on his colonies here. I think we're going to go forward with the blockade plan. I'm going to send you there. Uh, how about how about you don't move through there? How about you just send a sit sentry here for now? I mean, once we're in there with the scout ship, uh, that gives us the couple points of sensor range. We should actually see things if they try to move through the war point. Um, but yeah, let's see. Oh, what did he do? He moved his ships one tile. He just moved his ships one tile. Let's consult the movement log and hope the game doesn't crash. The game frequently crashes with the movement log. Uh, now we can see these things. Uh, these flags are not where they're supposed to be. And he moved them there. Yeah, that's what he did. Hmm. And that's all that happened. And the game did not crash exiting out of movement log mode either. Very good. Okay, you can stay there. Is there anything built on this planet yet? Nope. Did he build anything here last turn? N nope. Either that or he disabled uh, our ability to see things with sensors. I'm feeling like that might be a case. Uh, might be the case. No. I'm not sure if we d if we saw that the he had solar plants on this planet before, but I think we did. I think we saw that there were solar plants and no units, which was true. There was militia I wasn't expecting, but I'm guessing you always just get one or something. So normally in the data files you can uh, define militia amounts for different population levels, like up to 50 militia you get one, uh, up to 50 population you get one militia, after 100 population you get two militia, something like that. There's like 40 entries in the balance mod uh, file for them. Uh, these are the uh, defense ships that built once upon a time. Uh, they actually have just a battery mounted mass driver. Uh, we figured out that these are maybe not the most efficient weapons. Uh, but I guess they'll have to do. Um, yeah. Well, let's move you one tile down here. Mm, right, this was the one that had the. Uh, the bombers. Very nice. <sighs> what do we also build here? I'm not sure. And you. Do you also want you there? I guess you only need to move there next turn then. Wait. One, two, three. One. 
warping through is two and this is three. Oh yeah, okay. For them is warping through is one and there's two. Okay, yeah, yeah. So they just so they really just need to move next next turn. Good, I was not mistaken. So just give them the order to stay where they are for the moment. Yeah, what's our economic situation look like? We're actually having a plus in organics for now. Um, hmm. We might want repair here, and we're definitely going to need a space dock once we start mining something. Uh, this is an organics value of 120 as well, 140. There's a difference, it isn't that big. I think we're still going to start with the light shipyard. Just because. And we're going to call it a uh, farming colony, sure. Because this would be a decent place to build more metropolises soon. It's gonna be there next turn, one, two, three tiles, but only enough in the turn after it'll uh, be able to spend its fourth move, its fourth move uh, point, and actually colonize that. So it's going to take a little longer. Mm, we still have one warship sitting here, being a guard. That's fine. There's no point sending it over here to try and bottle him in because we know that his ships can uh, defeat mine, or single one of mine. We still don't have anything there to counter him, but I think the carrier can do the job. If we decide to unbox him, which is going to cost us a thousand resources or so. Uh, 1200 resources or so, or so in maintenance. But to try to unbox it now, it would cost us this value right now. Mm. It's actually just a thousand something. I thought it had twelve hundred or so in uh, maintenance cost. Oh yeah, it shows me thirteen hundred here. Maybe it's just a fixed quarter or a fifth of the build price or something. Whereas the maintenance cost is more dynamic. Mm, there's lots of researchers that made the. Uh, that made ship hulls require less maintenance, but that was for level ship hulls. So we'd actually need to build a bigger ship, or a new ship, for that to be a thing. You were still busy... Well, you are not going to be busy anymore in two turns. We're not going to build any more yards here, so afterwards we are going to build these uh, 28 research labs we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. No other ships need orders. But we're getting close. Research was set. Is there anything else we've forgotten? Mm, no. Not just yet. Well, let's anticipate the end game, if it is indeed the end game as approaching there. <laughs>